Hey, good evening, guys. Welcome back to the Cool Gravity Design Training. I believe we're doing great today. Uh, today, I want to show you how you can make a very simple monogram logo on your Android smartphone using your PC lab. And I'm going to teach you step by step how you are going to present such a mock-up. I mean, such a logo on a mock-up. Very suitable. Then, there are other tricks which I'm going to show you. We all know that when even if you are good on how to mock up, you see the result always smaller. How can you make it bigger? I'm going to show you that secret how you can make it bigger without losing quality. I have some of amazing tricks process which I normally make my logo to undergone so that whenever I zoom them out, then I enlarge and crop it, then I will make sure that uh, I retain the color back. So without wasting much of our time let's get started now the first thing we need to do since we have uh, the business name is uh spy cam then i want to use the initial so which is s then i will look at the special font which i can use so i'm thinking of using an olio script board olio script board so after selecting that i will increase the size just as perfect as this after treating it well, then I will reduce the size back. But the first thing I need to do before that, I will just come here. Having my radius to be something like 10 or bigger than that. So I'm going to do a kind of a thorough work here. So this is where the work is. So now I'm going to rotate this. So I have this one lock first so that we can be able to move these okay we'll make it uh, more presentable okay perfect so i just want it to be bigger just as this so after that has been done then the next thing we need to do is to i want to create some amazing tips here so before locking it so just try at least to uh, do a kind of a decoration i want this to be perforated so on top of that particular shape alone so after this has been done i've enabled it i'll cut out the inner should be cut out but it's not obvious and i know why is because so i will cut it out from that side very cool so after cutting that side then the next thing i'm going to do is to divide everything into two so merge this together after merging we need to do a kind of a, a crazy stuff here where i'm going to blend this so move this to this side and then move it to this side okay good move it to that side okay perfect so after that we are going to just uh, use it to uh, cut out the parts okay 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 so after this the next thing we need to do after this we need to cut out these parts as you can see so the next thing to do is to copy after copy then we go back to sorry go back to mask and click out then we are going to uh, move it manually just as perfect as this but i'm thinking one thing i uh, this will not be able to move well because of uh, what i created at the top so what i want to do next is to just uh, move this first so i'm going to move it out move it out i don't want it to remain anything so move it so after moving then we can we can adjust a little bit move it out then we can tap on this so that we crop it in now having that we can tap copy then we'll go back to mask and click out for us to be able to have this particular shape i just want to create a little little space in between i'm not really satisfied yet so i will go back because it gets a shape which I want to form here. So I want you to form rather. Okay. Okay. 
okay okay so this should be cool like this and come in a bit so shouldn't be you take your time while you are doing it just make sure that uh, everything is actually firm so now we have this result right so we can tap ok so now we 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 create a little space in between this so that at least we can have different color for them so now the next thing we need to do i'm still going to um we are still going to merge this so take it for instance like this one i'm going to merge something together with it so that at least we will be able to form something as a result of that so now tapping on this and uh, after tapping you move it to this particular area so this is the area where i want to copy something so after moving it to that area so we bring all this out okay then you click out so that we'll be able to cut out what we are expected to cut out so now we have this okay especially done like this so have it done like this okay perfect just to have another special color for that okay we'll have a different color for that so after this has been cut out then we click ok so now what we need to do is to copy we go back like we are repeating the same process so we have this and this is going to be here you can see what i'm doing so after that we give it a different color right so we give it this color why we give this okay sorry we give this different color right so we position this with different color then we come here and i'm not going to give it blue right now. i will give it different color for it to be able to work well so let's give it a white color okay perfect so now that i'm having this everything is actually plum right so we have white here or better still i change the color back so like this one i'm changing that color to uh, this why we have other color to be changed to white okay then this color will be changed to white so now we have all our results right so we are going to lock it we have formed a unique logo with that so now this is going to be reduced so now we put in our uh, uh the right up so where we have our spy cam we have the spy cam so we go to the font area so not to take much of our time then we use the font color olio script boot as i said before so that is going to be positioned here so now go to the color change the color into two so we copy the first one we change that color we leave the rest to be white so now having done that then we can put in if we have a slogan but if it does if we don't have a slogan we can leave it the way it is so we have our spy cam and that is uh, the highs of the world eyes the highs of the world okay good sorry about security okay so now we can since we have this we can position it and if we decided not to use uh, any of these we can decide not to and if we have we can use the slogan but better still i don't want to use the slogan so the next thing i'm going to do now that i have everything that's here so i'm going to just merge it together then use the relative position to position it then i will click on transparent background so have it transparent okay so after that i can still give it a, a color so take it for instance i can give it this okay by merging it together so when i merge it together i will reduce the size a little bit then reposition wall and i have it save okay so have it save so now i will head directly to uh uh my 
for to be okay sorry I will head directly to my photo P. Okay, now this is my Chrome browser. Let's roll something on here. So we come to I come to my photo P. So getting to my photo P, you tap on open from my computer. Then we locate where we have the markup. So I'm looking for the markup. I don't actually know where it is, but I believe I can get it somewhere around. Right? So let's see. I think uh, should be this. So let's see how it work. Okay, this is it. Now tap from open layer, double tap here. So when it's open, you can hide the two design. Now you have this empty space. Tap on file, open and place, and click on file. So after that, you access where you have the design being uh, saved. So we have two way. This is this. So after that, you wait for a bit so that when it plays, you drag so that at least it can fit in. Don't let it exceed this transparent layer. After that has been done, we can click on file and click on save with smart objects. Now, you wait. When you see smart object of detail, tap here. Then be looking at the screen of your phone. You see, in a second, everything transform. Go to the file and you can actually go to export as png tap on it another window will pop up which you see save and tap on save after you save you click on download if it's open you can tap on download then you look at the top you see open when you open this is where we are going you see the screen very small how can we make it bigger because this is just the youtube size what i'm going to do first i don't like the fact that uh, this thing is having too much shadow what can i do with that i'm going back to the effort so when i go to the light i have something like this uh i'm going to reduce it so copy so i'm going to reduce it the fill so i'm going to reduce it to something like 60 okay then i will reduce this to something like 36 i will tap so when i tap it i should be able to have a laser uh, shadow if the shadow is too much i can still reduce the shadow by going down here so under the background uh, uh let look for effort uh, okay okay so the drop shadow should be high there let me see so we have the drop shadow we have this drop shadow here so it has to be reduced a little bit okay i see where it's affecting it so now you have to click on the drop shadow again to be back so when we click on it you see it actually show okay so let's check okay it actually work so what we're going to do next is to make sure that this is 100 the fill so i want it to be something like 70 so let me see this drop shadow has been reduced a little bit so i will receive okay sorry i want to receive export following the same pattern of saving then you click on save you have download pop up then you have the result now it's very small as you can see you have to increase the size up but your eyes must be too sharp so when you increase it then the next thing you need to do is to screenshot when you screenshot you see everything has gone you still re screenshot so that at least so when you screenshot you have these results okay so now crop it just as i did after cropping the next thing you need to do is to just click on save so now that that has been done the next thing we need to do is to just go to the snap seat so get into our snap this tap on plus then you locate what you screenshot on your screenshot area then you tap it load it just wait a little bit after that has been done then the next thing is to click on choose you need to fast and you are reapply just adding depends on your choice then the blurriness you will see why i'm doing this because at the end of the day we are going to remove them so go back to details and sharpening so we need just sharpening 
you can be turning it back to see whether it's taking any effort then we come down here so the only area where i'm needed here is to just uh, apply this okay perfect then i go into the here have this a bit apply it just a little cool then we go to the toner i don't need the toner mid tone should be increased we we'll have this or we reduce this a bit increase or reduce protect shadow should be reduced increase a bit so after that has been done then the next thing we need to do is to come to hdr let's see how it work whether we filter it by one just to make sure that everything is not working so you can have it save now so after saving then the next thing we need another application called photo tune so this photo tune you close it so we have um coming so this one that we just did we are going to enhance it so you wait for real time the application is behaving photo tune you can see this is before this is after you can actually see the results now so you click on save you can see i retain the quality so add the let's check our gallery and see the result right now let's check our gallery see that result so look at it so you can see i make it bigger then i make all the quality and everything retain time for watching i believe this is helpful god bless you